Okay, guys. I've got something to say. I went back into this game. Oh, no. Let's get into the character, Steve. Come on. Stop troopers. Stop troopers. I came back after my uh, rest, my uh, rest vacation date away, uh, you know, holiday leave from the ship, and uh, I came back to find that um, the ship had actually gone into a time warp. Um, unfortunately, the ship got stuck in this time warp and sucked back to the start of time, or rather, to the start of when the Rebel fleet began pursuing us. Um, what that means, of course, is that uh, people like Graffin, Sophia, Ares, um, and whoever else, they've gone. All we have left is Mac, Emma, Kate, Thomas, and obviously the ship, XSS. Now, this happened because last time I, uh, let's say, exited the ship, I didn't click save and exit. I think I may have clicked on the X. Yeah, so I accidentally deleted the save file. It's entirely my fault, and there's absolutely no way around it. That's the type of game this is. If you don't click save and exit, it will quit. And, you know, in a way, rightly so, because it stops you from cheating. And that's what the type of game is. So, no use crying over spilt milk, or rather, you know, as the old proverb goes from ancient China, no use crying over a saved faster than light game. So let's go back to the start of time and deja vu. It's deja vu. It's deja vu. I was so gutted when that happened, guys. I really, really was so gutted. Um, I just couldn't, could not believe it, basically. Oh, shit, no. Thomas isn't a girl. That's Emma. I'm just going to call you Emma Kate, if that's okay, because I don't like having the numbers and stuff, so... I hope that's alright with you. Oh, that's just going to be called Kate. No, I don't know. don't want that. Alright, well, we'll call you Emma Kate. How about that? There you go, Emma Kate. Oh, look, he's already called Thomas! I really hope your surname's Bloch. It's probably not Tom, but, you know, whatever. Right, okay. Oh, dear. My poor old ship. There we go. The XSS. So yeah, I'm really sorry. Let's go on easy again. Um, really sorry about that, guys. That's it. Really sucks, and I was gutted about it. But hey, this way you get a little bit more faster than light for your money. Now, I just want to say something because a few people have had a go at me for playing this game. They've said, "Oh, carry on playing Slender. Carry on playing scary games. This is boring." Fair enough. You know, people are allowed to think what they think about games. I can see why this would be a boring game for some people. Totally understand that. Same thing with Minecraft. But it's a game I really enjoy playing. I think it's a game that deserves some attention from the community. And I think it's des it deserves the money that, um, hopefully, some of you have spent on it. Um, and anyway, quite a lot of you do enjoy it. And it's nice. It's a nice way to get involved with the community. And like I say, I really enjoy it anyway. And you've got all of the slender and scary games coming up in December. Um, which actually, I think, has already started by the time you see this video, but uh, yeah, there's some good stuff in store for you. So anyway, let's let's carry on. So, I think we're on part five of Faster Than Light now, and we're just starting. How does that work? So yeah, anyway, right, the data you carry is vital, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a quick look at the tip. System damage. When a system fully breaks due to fire or borders, the hull also takes one damage. Oh, right. Wow, I didn't know that. So if they like Nakamai engines or something, that will go down by one. Huh, interesting. Right. Take that off. Stick that on. Charge these up. There we go. I've learnt my lesson. Lots of people said don't have the med bay on all the time, so I'm not. Okay. Mac, what are you doing? Get into weapons. Emma, uh, get into engines. And you, Thomas, you get onto the, onto the pilot. Right. Look. We've got a lot of ground to cover, I'm afraid, everyone. We've got to go, got to get through the entire, the entire sector again. Right, let's get going. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Oh, we've hit someone already. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene or avoid the conflict. Well, we're going to intervene, aren't we? Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Well, they're not going to do much, are they? Because they're automatic. So what do we do? I've forgotten what we did now. Um, we hit their shields with that, and we hit their weapons with that. 
Good. Oh, it's good old times. Come on, Mac. Now, Mac actually sent me a subspace message. Um, like I used to send him subspace messages when he was in command. Oh, shit. There we go. Their weapons are down. Their weapons are down. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. He sent me a message via subspace communication, which... Uh, well, essentially, he told me that he wanted to destroy some more ships rather than me letting them all off all the time. I reviewed my tactics and I had a look and I thought, yeah, you know, fair enough. I do, I do seem to let them off quite often. So, Mac, I'm gonna let you kill some shit. How about that? The ship breaks apart and you get three fuel, one drone, part eleven scrapped. Well, that will do for me. Oh, the outpost hails me. One fuel, two missiles, twenty-two scrap. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by these scouts. Take this on the house. Oh, that was a pretty good stopover, basically. I've got quite a lot of stuff already. Why have I got that? Oh, I took that offline. Yeah, someone else... I can, sorry, I can't remember your name. I printed off a list of things I was going to do for this episode, but obviously, as this episode is no longer the Zoltan sector, which actually won. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, they said that I should use the number buttons a bit more like that. See? Don't have to click then. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. Let's jump. Let's jump. Can I go there, then up to the distress? Oh, no, I'm going back there, then up to the distress. Yeah, get some more bang for my buck. I'm not in a brothel, come on. Your jump leads to a remarkable binary star system. The view is beautiful, but there is nothing else around. Well, let's enjoy the view for a bit. This is quite pretty, I have to say. I do think the design of this game is nice. Like, it's very minimalistic and very, sort of, you know, <laughs> 1990s, but it's, it's great. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Shall we attack them and get to the storage cache, or shall we avoid provoking the ship? Well, we want weapons, don't we, really? We want weapons. Go on then, Mac. Hit that. Whoops. No, no. Let's hit that. Oh, I need to use the number keys. There we go. And there we go. Fire. Or as Mac would say, Mac, Mac, I give you the order. Fuego! <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Fuego! Smash, smash, smash. Look at those. Down like a light. Right, let's turn that off. And we'll smash there. Hold to pieces. Don't need them going anywhere. Beautiful. You salvage what you can. 22 scrap. The station is a storage site. You salvage everything possible on those things. Well, that's a shame. I was hoping to find some weapons on board, but never mind. Ooh! Distress store up. Oh, we're down there anyway. Right, well, yeah, distress first. Distress first. Gotta to go to the distress. Always gotta to go to the distress. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send the crew to help immediately. Giant alien spy spiders are no joke, or leave them alone. Well, I've gotta help, haven't I? But I've only got three crewmates. If I lose one now. You're all going to be very pissed off with me. Or at least the person who gets killed. Right, I'm sending. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind. Lol. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control and before you long, you've beaten them back. Con Thank goodness for that. Seven missiles, one drone parts and fourteen scrap because they were thrilled with my success. Oh, I thought I'd lost one of you then. That would not have been fun. Let's jump. Uh, store. Let's go to the store. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, oh, look at this. I could get a teleporter already. Right, well, we'll fix, fix that. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, weapons, systems... Oh, I need your help. Crap. Um, okay, come on, Storp. Storp Vader. You need to buckle up. Okay. Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. Okay, brilliant. So that shoots out one of those little pulses of blue light that hits me and then disables a shield or something. That's fine. That's that's quite nice. I like that. Hermes, standard but powerful missile. Charge time 14 seconds. That's ages. But it does do 3 damage per shot. And it's 5 shield piercing. That's pretty good. What's this? 5 shield piercing, 2 damage per shot, 1 power required. That's three power required. That's one power required. I might go for that, you know. Oh, I could buy that and the teleporter. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Yeah, I'm not getting that because I'm going to waste my... I'm getting this. It's bought. And I'm, it's bought. It's all bought. I just bought all of it. I just went on a shopping spree. It's because it's nearly Christmas. Ah, oh, crap. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Right, ship. Okay, equipment. 
let's move you. There you go. No, we'll stick you at the start. There we go. That's better. Uh, you're all fine. Where's my teleporter then? There it is. There you go. That's a foolproof purchase for the future, that. Foolproof. Well, I could really do with some power for these. Oh, well, we'll leave the missiles offline for now. Shit. I better not get in into any trouble now, because I haven't really got much I can... <laughs> Much I can do. You recognise the ship as a well-known slave trader. Aha! We'll attack them and get them to give them one of us, I think. He hails you and offers you labourers for cheap. Well, slavers can suck a dick, can't they, really? Excuse my French, but they really can. Um, let's hit their shields and burst laser their weapons. Hey, it's the first proper ship I've attacked. It's not blimmin' automated for once. Let me have a sip of whiskey. Good. Right, well, let's get those shields down for good, shall we? And we'll disable their engines. Sorry, I keep forgetting to use the number keys. It's just easier to play with one hand with the mouse. I'll try and remember the number keys. Come on, Mac. Right, oh, we surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. Yes, if you destroy us, they'll die anyway. <gasps> what are we going to have? What are we going to have? Oh, a human. Filthy human. Where are we? Right, Garrick, you get in the shields. Instantly, I don't like Garrick. Why don't I like Garrick? Maybe because his name's Derek? No, I, I don't know anyone called Derek. Hmm. I'm watching you. Emma, Thomas, and Mac. Could you all keep an eye on Garrick for me, please? Let me know if you see anything strange or untowards. Would you please? Right. Ah, oh, can we go back to there? Or should we go to there? Well, I haven't got anything for the store. Oh, it's got to be here. It's got to be. It's got to be. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. <laughs> well, first of all, I haven't got the scrap. Second of all, I wouldn't give it to you if you got down on your knees and did your dirties. Right. Reject your offer, in inverted commas. Too bad. You will regret this decision. Yeah, well, I won't, will I? Because I've got this, which is going to smash your shields to bits, and I've got this which is going to smash your weapons to bits. Oh, and you are going to go nowhere, my friend. You are going to go nowhere. Ready? Ready? Come on, Max. Show him what we're made of. Yeah, that's their shields down. Yeah! <laughs> Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Four fuel, one drone part, twelve scrap. No, Mac wants carnage. That's what Mac wants. He just wants carnage. Um, oh, we don't care about the doors. It's fine. Come on. Mac, give him, give him all. Oh, I haven't got auto fire on. That's the flipping problem. I knew there was. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Doesn't matter. Always forget bloody auto fire. Stupid Steve. Useless captain. Please tell me off if I ever forget auto fire again. There you go, Mac. You enjoy that. You enjoy that. One fuel, one drone part, twelve, uh, twenty-two scrap. Well, we got more scrap, less fuel. I can live with that. I can live with that. Lovely. Right. You two, get in there. Fix it. And once you've done that... Mac, over you go. Garrick. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about you. Right, let's jo Oh, shit, they're f advancing fast. Right, store. Shit. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travellers you send down an away party to check it out. Oh, I want drone control. <laughs> I want all of these things. <laughs> well, I've got nothing I can sell, so this is pretty useless being here. I'll fix my ship. Oh, I could really, really do with a, another crewman. Ah, oh, I love NG. Look how cool NG are. They double the repair speed. Ugh. Oh, cloaking. Drone control. Yeah. Right. It's fine. I'm going to save my money. Don't need any of this stuff yet. Sorry, but thank you for everything. Right, let's jump. Jump, motherfucker, jump. Your scans reveal an ore refinery in several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. Can I not loot the ore refinery? Clearly not. Let's go here. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Don't risk activating it. 
or download the ship's data stores. Now I know if you download the ship's data stores there's a chance it will just attack you anyway which is a waste of time or you can get like information about nearby beacons um, from it but I don't really have much time left so if this had happened earlier on in the sector I'd have done it but I'm not going to risk it this time. I'll just take the 11 scrap and say thank you very much lol goodbye. Uh, I've got time to go there. So yeah sorry about um, the save file or the the time warp even um, because yeah I, I am sorry about that but I hope uh, yeah yes <laughs> shut up Steve a rebel ship has been patrolling this region as soon as you arrive it begins its assault right pause right the ion blast on the shields and the burst laser on the weapons easy fire fuego whatever you want to call it fire whiskey. It's ten-year-old scotch. Ten-year-old single malt scotch. Abalawa. I bought it when I was in Scotland, actually. Obviously. Right, that's their weapons off, or one of them anyway, and that's their shields down. Come on, let's hit them again. Hit them again, hit them again. Come on, get those shields off. Get that weapons down. Yep, come on. Bam, bam, bam. That's what I want to hear. Bam, bam, bam. I just want bam, bam, bam. Anyone? Reference? No? Come on, you all know. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of one fuel, one missile, 24 scrap. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Right, I'm not going to risk going anywhere else and getting out. Getting out of here. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump. However, you see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Should I sell them three drone parts for 12 scrap? Oh god, they want drone parts. Yeah, I'll sell them that for scrap. I don't have a drone system yet. Screw it. Yeah, take them. I'll have the scrap. Thank you very much. Sweet. Right, I'm going to upgrade. Right, I need my other weapons online, so I'll stick another one in there, another one in there. Smash. Done. Done and dusted. Don't care. Right, what have we got? <gasps> Uncharted Nebula or Zoltan Control Sector. Oh, now, now, now. Now, I've got to tell you something. The last video, what I was going to do this time was to, to explore the Zoltan Sector, because I think it got 39 votes, and the NG Sector got something like 21 votes. So, we're going to have to go Zoltan, I'm afraid.